guys, it's Dwayne from RV City. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on the Jayco Fifth Wheel Eagle HT. First, we're going to start off on the front end here. As you can see, Jayco has an extended pin box. We kind of slide over to the back here. We have our actual six way plug in, which can easily reach your truck. This you'll attach as well. This is your breakaway cable, which will activate brakes if this is ripped out. Over here, you also have an LED light, so if you are working at night at all, you can easily see. On the front end cap above, there are some LED lights as well. You can have these on at night. And the switches for them are right here. And they do have a waterproof casing over them as well. Let's go back underneath the cap again. Here you can see the two front shank bags are retractable and extendable through battery power or shore power. Here we have our solar on the side, so if you do have a portable solar panel, battery tray area, and also a generator area if you want to get that prepped in. Here are the battery tray area and a bit of storage up there as well. Trick awning with an LED lighting system. The switch is on the interior. We'll start off with a couple of our uh, compartments here. We have our first propane compartment. The other one is on the opposite side, on the driver's side. There is ventilation as well. This unit is heat alike as well, so you can use one key to unlock your main doors and all of your storage compartments. What we have here is the pass-through storage compartment which is quite deep, and there are access ports to your low point right on that side, which I'll show you. Uh, there's also a satellite antenna hookup. Uh, you have your actual outlets here and a motion sensor light. You can use this for storage. You can run your cords through this area as well. So they're not exposed or getting caught in the compartment door. Here we have our actual cranks. But luckily, this is fitted with an automatic uh, jack system. Here is our exhaust vent for the actual stove on the inside, which we'll get to later. Close it by lifting up and pushing in with the tab. This is an electric one as well, so you probably won't have to play with this too much, except if you are draining it. So this is usually going to be plugged, so it allows it to become hot, build up pressure. Now, if you do want to relieve the water out of this system, you can pull this tab right here and it'll relieve the pressure and leak out here. That way, when you're pulling this, uh, this tab off, or cap, sorry, um, it'll easily flow out instead of it being pressurized with a bit of heat as well. Before I get too far here, over to our right, we have our spray port as well. So if you do need to hose down some dirty boots, anything like that, you can do that. Below is, it does say warning for hot because this is your furnace exhaust. So if you are running your furnace, just try to stay away from it. Maybe let the kids know, whatever maybe. You do have your marine style outdoor speakers right on the bottom skirts near the LED lights. You do have more outlets on the exterior as well to you on this side. And to the left of those outlets is your fridge vent. If you want to access in behind the vents, see if anything is going on. But it's pretty much just the moisture trays in there. You won't have to access that very much. Here we have our self-closing door. You can uninstall that if you want. If you don't like it closing on its own. Easy to close tab right here, which is slideable. We also have a lovely step-up light, which is nice and light dark blue. And you can easily turn it off or on. Over here, like I mentioned, are your automatic stabilizer jacks. You can extend them out or retract them. We do have our aluminum tri-folding stairs as well. Now let's move on to the back here. This is prepped for a reverse camera. This is equipped with uh, J-Smart lighting technology, so Everything's LED on the inside and out. 
On these fifth wheels, uh, it's quite nice. You're not gonna have to worry about replacing bulbs all the time. Wall mounts and ladder. The roof is weighted for 4,500 pounds, so you can definitely have a lot of weight up there. You can, it's walkable if you need to check up on anything. Uh, like I said, LED lighting for brakes. Here's, of course, your license plate holder. Bumper, which is hollow, so you can store your sewage uh, drain hose in there if you want to. And of course, a hitch, which we can wire a six way if you do want to tow. Now, on to the driver's side. Here's with Goodyear tires and Dexter axles, so the best in the business. Now, over to the front is our shore power connection, which is nice. There is a locking twist here, so it's not going to just slide out on its own from the weight. There is also a light to let you know that there is power running to it. Now we've removed this top uh, for this video, just so we're not uh, unlocking it, but this is your outside shower, which is another component right here for it. You can plug it in here or in that spray port on the passenger side that I was showing you earlier. Um, here is your water pump for it, water heater, sorry, that's the pump. Uh, this is your city water connection, so if you want to line it right through, uh, you can do so. And the panel does have a sliding uh, corner so that you can keep this closed while your city connection is plugged in. Uh, there's also some satellite hookups here as well, just in case you want to uh, hook up a dish on this side of the unit or something. This will be stored back in here. Here is your low point drain. That panel we just loosened for the video and you just slide it over with a motion sensor light above it of course now here are our holding tank drain latches right underneath the skirt nice and hidden here's our main port for the drainage and the cap itself here is the gray holding tank so you just pull that if you want to drain pull that if you want to drain the black holding tank and over here you have your secondary gray holding tank latch as well Again, they are hit quite hidden under there, nice and discreet. The driver's side is your actual propane area where your regulator and your hoses are going to be hooked up, which are actually going to be drawn. Now you can choose which side you want to draw from. This will automatically switch over once this reaches a low level, or this one. Whatever you're actually pointed to, it'll automatically switch over. Information panel as well shows you your VIN, weights, everything like that. So if you do uh, have any questions, you can always call us, or you can find it on the side of the unit. And I think that is all for the outside portion of the